Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to our new studio. And let me try to adjust here. Yeah. It, tell me, can you see if I've gone live, Bill? Can you check it out? Yeah, I'm checking. Um. No, I think you have to go out of there. Wow, really? So give us one second for, I think you do. I think you have to go. There you go. There it is. You just had it. Go back. There it is. There Stay. it is right there. Can you tell me if I'm Stand. in camera? You are this, in camera. This is a little bit yep. different for me. So welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, We are in, this is quite a bit different setup than what I had before, even though I it, city, it looks I the same. <laughs> I'm just reading them all. Go ahead. You say your hellos. Happy and joy and... Oh, Joy's here. Now I got... A, the comments. I got a... Scapegoat. A scapegoat. <laughs> if something goes wrong. Because you guys know, most likely it probably will. Yeah. So, France. everything's on opposite sides. I was always used to having my project box in a different spot and everything, but the way this room is set up, it's a little bit different. Um, how do we sound? Yeah, how do we sound? Can you hear me? Can you hear Bill? He's a, like way across the room. We were in close quarters before, and now this is quite different. He's clear over by the computer which is probably good for me not to read comments because actually I started to get a little bit nervous before we went on. West Virginia. Oh, we got people from all over. Uh -huh. So Missouri. Okay, let's just start with. Well, I've received, in Missouri. Well, we're in Missouri now. Yeah, we're in Missouri now. So tell us where you're from. I'm still trying to learn Missouri. Um, this is one state I have not ever lived before. All right, let's get started here with um, some cards that I received from people. So this one is from my good friend, Nancy. And I think, well, I don't know if I even had this set last time. I think this was a celebration one from last time. You know what, you guys? I feel like I'm, like, this is my Starting first time. All over again. <laughs> because I'm so out of habit of this now. So thank you, Nancy. This was a congratulation. And this one was from my good friend, France. And um, these are just uh, hellos and congratulations on the new house and the move. Look at how stinking cute it is with the little house. What a cute idea on that DSP from Celebrations. I just, I love that. So she has, this is from Joy. And Joy sent me this. And then today I got one from Beth Ann. Look at this. How stinking cute. By the way, these things are so pretty. I don't have this set yet. I feel like I'm a little behind the eight ball here just because everybody else has gotten a good kickoff going with the new catalog and I haven't. So thank you guys. That means so much to me to get some cards from everyone I like at the new address. The he does like get them out of the mailbox. So the new catalog went live in May and I was in the process of moving and everything was packed away. But I hope you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I have um, quite a large wish list. And uh, because I'm, like I said, kind of a little behind the ball here on this. But I picked out, I don't know who it was that had made a suggestion to start with something pretty easy. And so I picked the inked and tile bundle. Now let me explain. This bundle comes with two punches. Um, this little kind of X one and then this one, I don't even know what that shape would be, but it's a double square as you can see. And um, these are not as big as say, let me move this out of the way and grab our new circle punch as everyone loved having a new circle punch. So as you can see, it's not as big, but it's not small like our small punches. Like here's one of the really small punches. So it's somewhere, it's like a medium sized punch. And you get two of them, which I loved because this project tonight that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be using this X, but I'll be using this one. So we'll put this one away. And when you buy it as a bundle, you save 10% off all three of the items. The uh, stamp set, which by the way, is a red rubber stamp set and the um, two punches that come with it. So I always think that's a good thing. I'm going to set this one aside. And so that's called inked and tiled. And then 
they have, and I was involved in one of my paper shares this year, the Inked Botanicals. Now this comes in a six by six paper. It's very, very pretty. See this? Love it. So we're just gonna, while I've got this in my hot little hand, I'm gonna pick out this one. Oops, this one, not that so that we can have this ready to go for our project. And I wanted to start simple. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while. So let's just start with this DSP. And where is my, I'm not used to finding everything right at the moment. <laughs> so I'm gonna take out our little trimmer here. And it says that I am, I need two pieces of this DSP. Now this is the Petal Pink and Calypso Coral. It's got some white in there. On the other side, it has the different colored leaves, but it says I need a piece that's four by four. So let's just start there. And so let's go four by four, okay. And I know that this is four already. Then I need a piece of one by four. Gail's from uh, Australia is back on. Glad to see us back. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I needed to do something here before I totally lost. It, it's like a muscle. I was telling, um, is Nick on here? Nick's on. Because I, I was telling her today, stamping is like, it's just like anything. If you're a runner or if you're, if you get out of the habit of doing it regularly, it's just like a muscle and you, it, it's easy to kind of forget. While I got this out, let me pull out the next piece. And I feel like I kind of forgot. So I'm going to pull out. I have a four and a quarter, I believe. Let me check that. Four and a quarter, yeah, by 11 piece of petal pink. And I want to score this at uh, four and a quarter. So four and a quarter. And I'm going to make sure I take my trimming one down. And then at five and a half. So we're just going to do a, a book binding card tonight to kind of get started. Hopefully, I'm not going to be doing my Monday makes if you're in my pearls group or if you're in my um, VIP group. Not yet. There's, we're still under enough boxes, aren't we, Bill? Yeah. But, but um, uh, I Izzy's will. Izzy's back to work. Yeah, well. She's already snoring over here. She's <laughs> well, she's, girl's got to have a job, right? Okay, so I'm going to start this way and then I'm going to go ahead and start and fold it back. So this book binding is very, very simple for a fun fold, but it's just so much fun. So you're kind of making a little Z out of it like this. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue and let's glue this down. Boy, she is snoring, isn't she? Yes, she is. So is, has anyone responded on how our volume is? Because um, in the new room, I, I just don't know how to compare. So I'm going to let that kind of edge glue down and the, really? so it'll op open like this. Can you guys hear Bill? He is like across the room. We used to be able to touch each other. I couldn't. If you hold out your arm, can you touch me? Nope. nope. We cannot We're touch each other. feet away from touching each other. <laughs> So it's a little different for us. So I've started there. Then let's go ahead and let's take this DSP that I have and we will glue this down. So I want that petal pink and um, you can do this with any paper that you have. Such an easy... Joy says she hears both of us very well. Okay, good. We don't know if we echo because our house, we don't have uh, rugs yet in it. So... Yeah. New studio. <laughs> He's really liking that. New studio. He is very much liking that. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this on the front. Just to hear this down. I like to use the green glue just because this is the Tombow. I guess I should stop calling it in case you've never seen it. It's Tombow uh, liquid glue. I like using it because um, it allows me to kind of center so I'm going to put this in here. 
K. Like so. Very nice. All right, so let's set this aside. So now we've got our book binding opening. So we're going to set that aside. You know what, Bill? Can you hand me a piece? Oh, you know what? I don't even need you to. I think I have a piece of... Maybe not. Okay. Scrap paper? I need some scrap paper. It would be... Just take that, a piece of that computer paper. That'll work. I usually try to use... Well, we haven't found everything yet. Either, yeah, so. we're still trying to find stuff here. I'm going to hand one back. Okay. So I know that I am going to be using some of our stamp and write markers and I want to use let me see if I can find one let's use a blend here so this is calypso coral this is probably my favorite coral color ever 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 I just love it and I want to grab here we go this is the Baker's twine essential pack and I want to grab some of this white twine out of here and I'm just going to quickly do a little bit of, this is why I wanted the, what's really great with these uh, blends is there's so many uses, whether you're coloring gemstones or like this. I want my Baker's Twine to have some of that Calypso Coral in it. Let's see. Let's just go a little bit farther. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Because when you go to tie a bow, it takes more than what most people think. So are there any questions or anything, Bill? Not yet. Um, well, how do you like your new colors? Um, I've only... Any colors, yeah. I've only had an opportunity to play with the Moody Mauve um, for the in colors and the Boho Blue. Love them. Actually, I really do love them, but I haven't had a chance to play with the Wild Wheat or AKA Bad Earwax. Bad earwax. <laughs> I probably the shouldn't wild say wheat. that. Yeah. So I'm going to cut this off and let, give that an opportunity to dry while we go on with the, the rest. I've heard some people say it kind of looks like baby poo. Baby? No, don't do that. <laughs> so... Okay, we'll set that aside and let that dry for a minute. So let me pull out some more paper that you will need. I'm going to need a scrap piece because we're gonna put our sentiment on here. And in fact, let's just do that. I will get out the Calypso Coral on the petal pink, so a scrap piece. And I just went with the happy birthday. You can choose, there's, all sorts of sentiments in here. I have these stuck on here. Just to know, lots of love. Hello, friends. Congratulations. Thank you, and happy birthday. So this is quite versatile set. The, the baby poo thing came up here on a comment. Oh, yeah? Did baby some... poo e or wild wheat equals baby, baby poo emoji. Baby, baby poo emoji. Is that what caused you to laugh? Yeah. So, okay, there. I wasn't pressing hard enough. All right, so I'm just going to place that down. And I want you to guys to notice something. When I stamp a lot of times, I use a block that's way bigger than what I need. Now, you don't want to go too big. This one gives me enough handheld, but that's so I can see a lot of times what I'm where I'm stamping at. Okay, and then here's this punch. So we'll go in here and let's line this up. I can hear you typing away, so you must be writing to I'm somebody. Back, so. Okay, so that's our sentiment for our card. So I've got that set up. And then I'll just put my punch away while I have it. And then we're going to need um, two layering pieces. So we got two white and two Calypso Coral. The Calypso Coral on the front side of the card is gonna be cut at three and a half by three and a half. And then the basic white is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I'm getting that one inch border. And then on the inside of our card, we're gonna do the four by four and three and three quarter by three and three quarter. So it's this is a very simple card to make. 
So let's start some stamping. So on the inside, let's just start with our white and I might as well just pull this right over and use this. I want to go ahead and I'm using my Calypso Coral and I chose the Pretty Peacock. So this is a new, it's a returning, it's a new regular line color, but it is returning. It used to be an in color. So I want that brush tip end and I'm gonna go here and just color the stems of these flowers down. Who are you talking to? Is Joy causing trouble? Nope. You're gonna stick up for her even if she is. It's not Joy. <laughs> Joy, it's so nice to have you here. Haven't seen you in a long time. Um. Let's see, oops. I just got some schmutz on that. Schmutz? I did. It's a word. Yeah. So we're gonna start over again. I, I got excited about joy here. So let's go back. I like to start with my darker color because when you go ahead and huff on these, it seems like the darker color will, even if it dries out, you huff on it, it comes back pretty vibrant, whereas the lighter colors tend to fade away a little bit when you're doing the marker on stamp routine. Okay, what are you guys keeping him busy with? I I'm hear him over hearts. there. Oh, I hear him over there clicking. Well, I'm clicking on hearts. Okay. See, it's a new setup. So then I'm just going to come in here. And this is kind of like a... Um, boy, I don't even know what to call it. It's like, it's like a bud, a flower bud. What so, color is that? Pretty peacock. And... I'm going to stamp right off the edge of this and uh, Calypso Coral. Give that a good press. Now it is supposed to have that watery color look to it. So that is the way it's supposed to be. Now let's do this again. Let's pull up this other piece of white. And this time, so that was this image here. So it's supposed to have those little creases and cuts in it. Same with this image. And this is the one I'm going to do next. And this has got smuts on it too. My goodness, what did you do come in and play when I wasn't around, Bill? Uh, yeah. Not <laughs> okay, so we're going to stamp right off on this too. So again, I'm going to start, start with the darkest color, which is the Pretty Peacock. I was super thrilled when this came out. Now, do I miss my Bermuda Bay? I do, but not really because Lost Lagoon came back, and that was always one of my favorite colors um, prior to it retiring out from an in color. Boy, I don't even know what year that was. Got a question? Go ahead. Will any marker work on the stamps? No. You cannot get... You want the stamp and write markers. You do not want the alcohol blend markers. It's not going to work. This is the stamp and write. And as I was using earlier, these are the alcohol blend. So you definitely want the stamp and write markers. And then I'm going to come in here and color the flower. Now this one has a little bit of a line to it. So I want to make sure, because this is a light color on the red rubber, to have uh, the clips of coral going on. I got a little schmutz on that, too. There we go. Is Madison on? I don't see her. Okay. But I did share to her. Okay. Uh, sometimes my daughter comes on, and since we moved away, I'm kind of missing her. So I'm going to huff on these to get some of my moist breath on here to reactivate that ink. Isn't that funny? And I'm just going to kind of place this straight down. Again, using a bit bigger of a block than what I probably need, but I like to see through to see where I'm positioning. 
So I'm going to give that a good press. I'm not rocking. I'm just giving it a good press so that ink transfers. There we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and I can move this out of the way. Let's go ahead and let's adhere these on to these backgrounds. Isn't that, doesn't that just stamp out so wonderful? I just love it. I do. It looks nice. It does look nice, doesn't it? Now you can add um, any kind of a sentiment on the inside. What I like about this type of card is sometimes I want to send cards. And as card makers, you know that we send a lot of cards out to people. But I don't necessarily always have a whole lot to say. So these are what I call my love notes because they're a little bit smaller space. You can still get out a message, but you don't have to write a book to fill it up. Okay, so this is the inside and this will be for the outside. Doesn't this stamp really awesome? I love it. And to get that two um, color on there with the stamp and write marker, I think is fun. You could stamp it all in one color too, but I think it's fun just to have that. Uh, and the extra colors. I had to call someone for some help to find in the catalog, and I will show you this, because of all of those new colors, you can get them instead of having to buy the whole sets over. They have those new um, returning colors or new colors, uh, regular catalog colors. They have those in one spot. And while I'm thinking about it, let me grab the catalog and show you because then you don't have to buy all the uh, different the new different colored stamps. I was able to keep all of the ones that carried over and then um, add two and you're going to find it where it's got to be getting close, right? Okay, see here's the collections. So you've got your brights, your regals, whatever. But if you look up here, the new core colors, you come all the way to the end, you can get the 11 new core colored um, markers if you want them. Now, uh, I did have Pretty Peacock from before, but I don't have all of the new core colors like the Bubble Bath or the Lost Lagoon. And if I had it, I've lost it since then. Or the Lemon Lolly. And those are pretty ones to use with this. They made a comment about you finding your catalog. Well, this is all I found. I haven't had... This is... My daughter found this in... Uh, Waterloo, so we had to go all the way back to Iowa. I have since put an order in for more catalogs for those of you who have been asking me about we'll find them. them as soon as the other ones show up. Sure, that's exactly how that happens, right? <laughs> okay, so let's go here and add this to the front of our card. So you can still see that DSP popping out and there we go and get that centered up and then let's open this up and let's get it centered up on the inside and then we'll do some decorating fun. So if you do not have a demonstrator that you're working with and you would like a catalog, I know I owe some of you catalogs and I've owed you for a while, but um, they are coming. I would be more than happy to send you a free courtesy catalog, your first uh, catalog. Um, the only thing that I ask is to offset the shipping and the um, cost of the catalog as if that you would make your first purchase with me. And um, let's see, I don't think I need that many, do I? Yeah, I'm kind of going to over dimensionalize this, but. Beverly wants to know how does it feel to be back? Um, it's actually a little more nerve wracking than I thought. Let's take our sentiment and stick this right on the front. It's a little more nerve wracking than what I thought. I, I don't know how I did this. I was doing this four times a week. And I, I know, feel now we got 44 people on. Oh wow. Well, welcome everybody. Mm -hmm. So let's set that down there, okay? 
or happy birthday. Now that piece of um, baker's twine that we colored with the Stampin' Write marker, let's make a little bow. And this might take me a minute because I am particular about how I want this to look. I don't want a great big bow, but I want one that has really pretty loops on it. There, that's not too bad. Okay. In the best way in the world, have we found my take your pick tool yet? Has that been located? I thought we had it. Um, I can't find it. Oh. We're still trying to locate some things. <laughs> yeah. This may be another order. Well, I'm going to use my little pokey well, tool. We've got all the tools coming. All the, all the attachments for it. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I did order them, but I haven't found my take your pick tool yet. Well, but with the rings and yeah. catalogs. And well, up until right before we went live, I couldn't find my wedding ring and my rings. So I was like, what in the world happened to all of our stuff? So I'm just going to add this to the front here with a little mini glue dot that I've kind of rolled up. And then let me make sure that's the size I want. Maybe just a hair smaller, but I want the loop to be a little bigger. Now don't forget to share. Oh yes, please we're, share uh, my video to share your wall. Share the wall, and I got people that are doing it. That uh, from North Dakota. That uh, will get your name into a drawing to win this card. Gonna go back to drawings again. Yes, now that I'm back, we will have a weekly drawing. So what he's saying is, if you're new, if you um, if you share this video right now, this live video, to your wall, you can get a chance. I have two of these cards, and you get a chance to um, win the card in next week's video if you join us again next week. Okay, so let's see if we can find... There's some really wonderful embellishments. Oh, 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 this is what I want. So these were kind of my favorite last time, and they did carry over, and I'm really super glad. This is the Iridescent Pastel Gems. Take a look at these. Let me put it on that white background. Aren't those amazing? Oh, my gosh. So what do I do with that tool since I can't find my take your pick tool. There are many things that you could do, but I just feel like this has enough of the fire of the orange and red from the Calypso like Coral. That. Do you like it? I do. Oops, that one's kind of sticking to me. So let's put a few on here and then we'll put another one there. Okay. Now you can go ahead and do a little bit of um, your and again, that was the iridescent pastel gems. Um, wink of Stella on your flower. But I feel like with the lines and the details in it, it kind of makes it... Um, it's shiny already. Do you like that? I do. Let me move that down. Look at that. So you've got a nice little book fold card. It's just so cute. I love it. Who, who doesn't... You can't have enough happy birthdays. So, now, that is, I have another one. So, again, when we do the um, drawing for next week, these cards will be up for that drawing. I'm going to try to just do my Wednesdays right now, and slowly, as I find things, like my Take Your Pet Tool, <laughs> um, start doing, like, my Parfaits on Fridays and my Monday Makes on Mondays and stuff. But at this point, now I have a few things if you have not been, and I haven't been doing really super good while we've been in transit of getting information. So there's some company information here. Again, we have, um, you have until June, what is today, the 7th? Today is the 7th already. We've been so here two weeks. You got three more days if you want to sign up. Now, if you already have this set, this uh, coordinates with the. I don't know the name of the set. I haven't learned them. I think it's like Country in Suite or something. So this coordinates with this. 
And they do have some dies that you can get that coordinates with it. You get three dies for $6. That item number is 163192. Paper Pumpkin is a mail mailing subscription once a month. You get kind of a little surprise in your mailbox. It is nine cards, three each of three different designs Country this time. Side in. Country side in. Oh, thank you. If you guys haven't seen it, go on to the website and take a look at the new Boho Beach. Now, I don't have one of those printers that has the super high quality printing, but you can kind of see it's a beachy themed kit. It's a card kit. And I know that there's some people who just love like paper pumpkin and these card kits, but this is a great summer beachy theme. Um, so it's called Boho Beach Kit, brand new. Um, it just came out today. Hey, Bill, guess what else? There is a June starter kit. So Ooh. this is like a really good deal. Way to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good deal. So our kit normally to start with Stampin' Up, even if you're not going to sell, even if you're not going to team build, if you like getting a discount on quality products, this is the way to go. $99, normally you get to pick $125 which is a good deal. That is a demonstrator discount on that. They're going to give you $155 worth of product plus free shipping. And our our shipping is like 11%. That's like $17 free. Yeah, so good. if you even if you never do another thing with it, there's no obligation. You can sign up and get $155 worth of product and free shipping for $99. Um, this is the way to go. So if you're interested in that or have any more questions, want to know more, let me know. You get to pick your kit. It's not a pre-picked kit. It's just a great way to uh, stock your uh, craft room. And on top of that, they're right now on a select few designs of um, designer series paper. And there's, what do we got here? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different papers here um, that are from the new catalog. Usually they don't do it this early in the season. So if you've got something that you have your eye on, maybe you haven't bought the bundle yet, this is the time to get the paper and stock up on it. Um, let me just suggest a few of my favorites. The Gorgeous Gingham. It is marvelous. Um, oh, like that? Yeah. Okay. Um, I also think the bright and beautiful, and I do not have the set, but I have more of the paper coming. The delightfully eclectic, this is a thick pack of paper. It's like, it's like a DSP pack times four, and they've got this on that special, which is really, really good. Um, I love the countryside in, which is what the paper pumpkin was. I am, um, I've got the Masterfully Made coming, haven't even used it, went ahead and just ordered it. The Let's Go Fishing Bundle, for those of you who have men in your life, we've got Father's Day coming up. And the neat thing is, is you can get it at the discounted price on your starter kit, which I think is amazing. Plus, if you order your starter kit this month, you can see the online exclusives that are coming next month. Now, here's a little sampler on this. Yes, that's right. Next month, we have more online exclusives. And I know people really? are probably like, new what? New catalog, new online. Yep. Woohoo! <laughs> it's pretty good. So, Christmas in July. Think Christmas in July. Because I got to see tonight, Sarah Douglas, um, our CEO, was doing a live. And she showed some samples. I have this coming. It should be here. At the new address, my first Stampin' Up! order. This... Saturday, I think. So yep. it is the horse and sleigh bundle. This thing looks so stinking cute. I wish you could see this paper. It um it's like scenery. It's kind of like soft little scenery. There are some metallic snowflakes on here that you can get um with it. And then the only other one that they're sh showing is this timeless charm. But there will be more things released other than this. We don't even know what they are. They're just giving us a sampling of these. We won't know until July 1st. So 
If those things are things that you are interested in, let me know if you're having trouble. These will not be available to, to you until July 1st, but the ordering special right now allows you to get the pre-order as a demonstration. Um, the starter kit special lets you get these things on the pre-order in your starter kit. So I know that was kind of a lot, but it has been a while since I oh, have been on here. Yes, if you would like to purchase anything that you saw this evening um, with the stamp set and bundle, please use this host code. I will um, automatically enroll you in a perks reward, a Piccadilly perks reward program. If you use this host code and your purchase is over $35 or more. So um, you for every $35 purchase, you get one letter to the name Piccadilly when you collect all 10. I'm going to give you a shopping spree on me of $25, plus I'm going to pay the tax and the shipping and have it just delivered straight to you. So I hope you guys had a wonderful evening and got a little bit crafty, maybe some ideas. Um, were there any questions, Bill? No, um, it says something about the 6th of July, not the 1st. Oh, the 6th of July is yeah. when? Uh, maybe I should read my own yeah, stuff. No, yep, I... that is correct. So the 6th of July is when these products um, go on sale. So whatever Stampin' Sister told me that, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You guys, thanks so much for letting us come into your home this evening. And we will see you next week right here, 7 p.m. Central Time. Izzy's doing fine. Oh, She's a little confused in the new house. I didn't think it was much bigger than our house, but it is actually. Well, there's big open spaces. There's big, yeah, there's a lot of big open spaces. So um, she's getting a little more blind and kind of running into everything. But other than that, appreciate you guys very much for uh, stopping in. And we'll be back next Wednesday. We'll see you then. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.